Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. He was in the back. What's going on, people? Welcome back to L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir. However you say it, this is episode three. We have been promoted to traffic. They Baby were, girl. They quick, didn't they? Six we promoted how you look. Before I got this. Oh, damn. God damn it. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I didn't ask for any favors. How you doing? You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. I want to make homicide. Bitch, what you know can I... Yeah, that's the only thing about this game. If I had it my way, I would have allowed for us to whoop pedestrians' asses in the street. You can't really hurt people on the street. Might be able to run them over with cars. But she said, I'm the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. That is very disrespectful. Solve that big case. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. There we go. We'll let my partner drive as per always, as per usual. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Caught in the Okinawa. I was wounded first back home. Did a year on the beat. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Oh, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Uh, 
I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I did the right thing by calling this in, man. It looked like that looked that car looked like that car from Pulp Fiction when they blew my man's head in the back seat smooth off by accident, though. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Man, you got one more motherfucker tired of this a black person on this game. I'm tired of that shit. How long you gonna keep me here, sir? Restless is that some type of code for something? Let's survey the scene. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. I'm gonna open up this here trunk. Uh, got a tire iron. Is that what that is? Probably not. All right, so that's not gonna do anything for us. What do we have here? Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Hey, yo! You can't even buy bacon for three dollars and twenty cents a pack, but on here you can buy a whole damn hog. God damn shit was cheap, bruh. Three dollars for a whole goddamn pig out this motherfucker. Sorry, I, I got excited. I don't even eat red meat anymore. Well, yeah, I, on occasion I'll have like pizza with a with pepperonis on it. Like I don't eat burgers. Anymore. Bacon and shit. Hey, turkey bacon, brother. Turkey bacon. I'm trying. I'm on a good wholesome diet. Oh, I do miss them pork chops though, bro. I ain't had no pork. Victim Shit. looks to have lost no pork chops a lot of since blood. like 2000. Lem. Like right after I started the, the, the YouTube's. All right. Do we have anything of, of that we can see in here? Nope. All right. That was Exhibit C. We're gonna do our best not to leave stuff at the. Uh, the crime scene, but I, I can't I can't make no guarantees Happier times I guess Why she got the rape face it's usually the guy with the rape face bitch look like she look crazy like a serial killer All right next we have some glasses are those the thick Coke bottle joints? Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. All right, we got that. We still got more stuff before we talk to your boy. Um, is there anything else? We had exhibits A, B, and C. I didn't look on this side of the car. We got nothing. Nothing on the seats or anything. Nobody can explain to us why on the first scene he picked up um, a gun with his hands. It'll take a smarter man than me to connect that. He's picking up uh, evidence with your bare hands like that. Right, we looked at those two, we looked at that. Let's talk to your boy. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. 
Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. I'm sorry, I might have seen a glitch. Was somebody in the background just disappear or something? Whatever. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Well, he looking right at me. He, he, he can't be lying. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. All right, knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. This dude's poker face is over 9,000. Look at the levels. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly. So it kind of stood out. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Wait a minute. Ah, did not see this. There we go. My bad. Brand name might give us something to go on. Ah, uh, we didn't, um, I forgot to push A on married. that. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? That I ought to be salty as hell if I had missed that. All right, so I think we want to probably go ahead and talk to him again and ask him about the other stuff. So I, I got to, I'm trying to remember all the mechanics. I think you go to the crime scene, you get all the evidence, and then you start asking questions. We only asked him about two of the things. We didn't ask him about these next two items we found. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. I mean, he's he gotta be telling the truth. Was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. Shake him down! Here, we'll head over there. He got seven dollars in change in his pocket. He's getting away! See, the first three questions were easy. He stared right at us. Question number four, he started doing like this, you know. We know. Now, the reason I had to pick doubt is because I didn't have any evidence to say he stole something. So if you know they're not telling the truth, you have to say doubt if you don't have any evidence, pretty much. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Man, shut up and drive. Drive, asshole! You know the way. You can drive. I love it. I love it. Coming from GTA San Andreas where you got to drive everywhere, every time, no checkpoint, no fast trouble. This shit is ice cream. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. 
We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. She looks exactly like the lady from the uh, bank. Like, exactly. We can't go snooping around just yet. Let's talk to her. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. <laughs> you ain't got a husband no more, so you might need somebody to go out. ahead and drop that Money. thing off in them drawers. You know what I'm telling you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Clue number one. What was that? An ashtray. Bitch, you smoke cigarettes. That's not ashtray. Is that an ashtray? Nope. Yes, we know not everything is relevant to the investigation. Yes, we know. All right, what do we have here? Absolutely nothing. Nope. All right. We got to go room by room, guys. We already... Wait a minute. No good to me. Absolutely not. That's no good. What do we have here? All right, so I think that room's pretty clear. Let's start back here in the bedroom. Her, this, her house clean as shit. Did that not mean anything? Guess not. Yo, you, he didn't even ask if he had permission to look around. He just gonna start snooping. Can't do that shit. All right. Like it ain't like, I don't know, whatever, whatever. Wait a minute now. You got a ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Keep that in mind, that's a, that's a big clue right there. Let's start with this little photograph. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Hmm. This must be Adrian's. Those... So the glasses are a match. Yes, sir. Exact same glasses or well, the brand. Keep that in mind. We got some matches here. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Find the phone to call for an address. Before we do that, we got to finish investigating the, the whole uh, the whole house. Here we go. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Insta heat. You only gotta put eight dollars down to get new heat in your house. This shit is ridiculous. All right, what do we have in here? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. I, I, I'm not ready to look outside yet, sir. No, excuse me. Circumstantial. Don't think this is going to help us. Nothing really. I don't think there's going to really be. <laughs> I 
I thought there's gonna be nothing in this um in that back room or in the kitchen. Uh, what do we have here? We didn't check there. Here we go. We already we already seen those, so they gave you two chances to find those. Um, y'all want to watch this? Let's go ahead and watch the weird doctor. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. Yeah. He, dr he drugged that brother up. You're supposed to be helping him. What did he get out do? Morphine or some shit? Cause it, it, it's what, 47 on this, 1947? Operator, message for KGPL. Thanks for your help. All right, let's make sure we check every room. We check the bedroom, we check the other bedroom. We check the kitchen, we check the back room. We check this room. We got the ashes, not the ashes. We got the ad, the goddamn Matches, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Excuse me. All right. He told me to check outside. Let's see if we got anything out here. Gardening tools. Wait a minute. We are. Here's the heater. The thing half finished. Man, I'm not no damn. What? That can't that, be right. That shit don't go there, man. I wait. So is this easy to install a heater in somebody's house? No. No, I wasn't trying to. Come on, man. Get that piece back. Get that. No, I'm trying to get that other piece. This one. That thing there. Boom. Man, what? That just ain't. I ain't. I don't get paid for this bullshit. And heaters and shit. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. So you mean to tell me his wife is a cold blooded killer? Damn! Beat that boy with the pipe he used to get the brand new heater installed at the house. Ain't that a mother? That's crazy. All right. The music stopped. Never mind. We uh. We this music is still playing. We didn't get everything. We did not get everything. That's why we forgot. To my Adrian, this thing gets more and more interesting. Boy, Nicole ain't your wife's name. I'm all right now, detectives. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. 
This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. All right, she's looking right at me. Truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. All right. Stencil glasses. Glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Look at straight ahead truth. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Are we? We are. We making progress. We looking good. Locations of Adrian. Let's 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 go. Let's go for that. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Adrian was trying to get out with the hose. He was trying to be where the hose is at. Did you lie? Well, the is truth. There anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. <laughs> we getting check marks all over the place. Look at this. We're gonna ask her about the photograph later. Let's ask her about that. Frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently. He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Because he, he out to give him the deed and the gold. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Bitch, you lying. She looking straight ahead now. When she was answering me. Oh yeah, we got evidence. Bitch, you lying. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. When you say, hold on. Wait a minute, we are. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. Did you women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, bitch. He's dead. He's gone. Bloody. Batted. Car destroyed. He gone. Bye. I'm sorry. That was so, so rude. But we were six out of six right there. We was 100% great. 100% excellent. You can drive. We will head over to Cat. Right. Oh, Thanks this, too. this, this goddamn, uh, case. The case is long. I might split this into two parts.
But for now, we head over to it was the Cannibals or Cavanaugh. To be out of there. Is my car? Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. We were at school together. How, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? Boy, if you don't get all your balls to buy me a drink. Looking for someone. God damn it all. I asked them to hold the mayo. That's hilarious. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Top of my class back east. Now uh, what is it with the cigarettes, my black sister? You destroying your your beautiful body. You too. Everybody is out. Who's asking? You're Frank. You Frank? My eggs were running. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Really? John Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Hold on, what was the question? We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. Oh, wait, he sells the hogs. You're going to Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Yes, sir. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Oh, well. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. We don't want to fuck this up. We don't have any evidence of where he is. But I don't believe you. Down. I'm tired of your stick, Morgan. It worked. Spill it. Well, we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. In the first 48, your bitch ass told on your friend. What a st I did straight around, doll. I got What's nothing that? to do. You're getting nothing more from me. Well, straight, straight. Told on the man, you can't go telling on folks. All right, come on. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? You know where we going, baby. You know where we going. Well, play south. I don't know if y'all heard that they use he used the blood from the pig to to look like he died in the car. So that's pig blood. That wasn't even that wasn't human blood. So that's why he had the receipt for the pig. 
All right, Frank Morgan, apartment two again. Apartment two. So I'm gonna just make this one long video, guys. Hope you don't mind. And I'll probably announce the giveaway winner on episode four. I'm gonna try to do it earlier in the series for now. From this point forward. What's apartment two? Um, Help you gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! I knew that. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Man, these people, look how fat. Look how he is. Yo, dude ain't even in shape. Where'd he go? Oh, there you go. Come on, man. You're not telling me he's running that quick. Mr. Black, get back here right now. I can't wait to. If I had him my way, I would shoot him in his ankles and be done with it. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian. What an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. Well, I believe we have achieved excellence yet again. We will stop here. This is the end of the... The driver's seat case, 14 out of 14 clues, 12 out of 12 uh, questions correct, no damage, no city damage, no injuries, no nothing. But I'm going to highlight you on the next episode of LA Noir. Do subscribe if you have not already.